Hi, I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to run through Sports Bike Shop's top five flip front or modular motorcycle helmets. The flip front helmet used to be known as the helmet of choice for instructors, for couriers and policemen. That's changed and now they're among the most popular styles of helmet full stop. Maybe as the average age of the motorcyclist has gone up, more and more of us are accepting what coppers, couriers and instructors knew all along, that flip up helmets are bloody practical. They're easier to put on and take off, they make petrol stops much simpler and they generally help us whenever we need to show our face or make our voice heard. The following five helmets are our pick of the current crop of flip front helmets. Now these are all premium helmets, so if you're on a tighter budget, you can look out for our video on the best flip fronts for 200 pounds or less. But if you're after the best, regardless of price, then these have been chosen based on a mix of customer feedback and what we learn in our own reviews. Where there is one of those full reviews available, you'll see a link popping up on the screen as we go through, and also those links are in the description below. Anyway, let's get on with it. AGV seem to have really hit the sweet spot with this, the Tor Modular. The first 15 customers to review this helmet all left the maximum five stars, which is an absolutely great start. Build quality is excellent. The composite fiber shell means weight is relatively low. We weighed a size medium at 1,607 grams and the slick chin bar mechanism feels classy. The visor gives excellent peripheral vision and the pinlock insert on the inside doesn't impede vision at all. The sun visor has got a good amount of drop, but it's a shame it lacks an anti-fog coating. The comfort liner inside is great and another plus point for some riders is that the official intercom is made by Cardo and that's a brand with a large and very dedicated following. Don't worry if you want to fit your own choice of intercoms though, customers say it's easy enough to do that. As a safety bonus, AGV has adopted anti-roll-off straps that help the helmet stay on in an accident, which used to be the exclusive preserve of Schubert's helmets. As we record this, prices for the Tor Modular start at £439.99 and go up to £469.99p. Shoei's latest flip front helmet landed to loads of fanfare in autumn 2023, but it made a shaky start in terms of customer reviews. Two of our first four reviewers knocked a star off when they were rating the Neotech 3. It's recovered well since, with only one further owner docking a star, so as we record this, the Neo 3 has a strong average rating of 4.88 from the first 26 reviews. It's an evolution of the popular Neotech 2, adopting several upgrades that are mostly intended to reduce turbulence and wind noise for the rider. The visor mechanism and rain seal are both revised and the lifting tabs moved from the left to the middle of the visor. The sun visor comes down further than on the Neo 2 with a deeper cut to stop it clashing with your nose. There's preparation for a new sleeker official intercom system as well. General consensus from owners suggests the Neo 3 is an improvement over the Neo 2, but it's not a massive step on from what went before. As we record this, the Shoei Neotech 3 is priced between £589.99 and £679.99. It's always hard to replace a legend, and that's what Schubert had to do when they introduced this, the C5, to take over from their very, very popular C3 Pro. Having tried before and failed before when they brought out the C4, this time Schubert have made a much better fist of it. The quietness of the ride, which is a big part of what's made Schubert's name over the years, is rated well by customers, and the peripheral vision is also excellent. Ventilation setup is superb, and the ability to adjust the interior shape by replacing four pads is also excellent, although that service does cost extra. The first 78 customer reviews bought an average rating of 4.67. Praise isn't universal, paint finish is mentioned as an issue, as is durability of the vent covers. Riders also dislike the price of Schubert's official comm system, but they are full of praise for the way that integrates with the helmet. Overall, the C5 might not be perfect, but it's well worth a place in our collection of the best flip fronts on the market. As we record this, the C5 costs between £519.99 and £589.99, depending on the colour scheme. The first three lids in this selection have the best customer feedback, but this HJC R for 91 makes it into this rundown because I personally think it deserves a place. It's made a slow start with customers. There are only four reviews as we record this and only one of those customers gave a five star rating. Now I suspect the list price of 450 pounds is an issue as people don't perceive HJC to be a premium brand like some of the others in this selection. But I think the R for 91 is still a very, very good lid. It's compact, it's relatively light, the chin bar lifting mechanism is very slick and there's an excellent adjustment system for the sun visor which is also anti-fog coated. The lining is premium quality and ventilation was great when I reviewed this helmet. There are also a range of official intercoms so you can save a few quid if you don't need advanced features on your intercom. 
The main criticism is that the visor doesn't particularly like being left partially open, and there are people who like to ride like that. As we record this, the Arfa 91's price starts at £449.99 and goes up to £499.99. This Nolan helmet is virtually brand new as we record this, but everything that impressed me about the old Nolan N105 is still there with this, the N106, and that's why I've chosen it for this video. I've covered about 200 miles in this helmet now, and it's not perfect, but I think it earns a spot in the top five. For a start, the fit is different to most of the other helmets here. I'd say this one's a little bit rounder inside, and that means it will suit riders who don't find the other four helmets comfortable. The pinch and lift chin bar system gives more confidence in the lock, and then the chin bar pivot design makes the helmet more compact and aerodynamic when the chin bar is raised. Vision from the main visor is good. The sun visor is plenty big enough and anti-fog coated too for good vision on damp days. Now, as I said, it's not perfect. I took this out for back-to-back -back rides with the AGV, the Shubath and the Shoei, and I found it slightly noisier than those helmets. And also on a wet ride, a couple of raindrops got past the visor seal and ran down the inside of the visor. But still, I think this is a premium lid, even though the £320 starting price makes this the cheapest helmet here by a margin of around £120. Okay, there they are then, our top five suggestions for premium flip front helmets. As to which one is best, like everything, that really comes down to what's important to you. In terms of build quality, the Shoei Neotech 3 stands out for me. For ventilation, the Shoebirth C5 is possibly the best helmet I've ever worn. For peripheral vision, the Shoebirth, the AGV and the Nolan are the best here and the HJC is also very good on that score as well. Noise is always subjective and it depends on so many factors that it's impossible to say definitively which helmets are quiet and which are noisy. But I wore the AGV, the Shoei, the Shoebirth and the Nolan back to back to assess the noise just for this video. On this Suzuki V-Strom 800DE with Suzuki's upgrade Torin screen fitted, there was very little difference between the AGV, the Shoei and the Shoebirth. The Nolan was a bit noisier, but not really anything that caused me a problem. Now, what I'm about to say might be a bit controversial, but of the five helmets here, I'm most impressed with the AGV Tor modular. The quality is high, it's as quiet for me as any of the lids here, peripheral vision is seriously good and the ventilation is very effective too. The fact that 15 out of 15 customer reviewers have also left a five star rating is quite telling too. Now, this is all theoretical. If the best flip front helmet in the world doesn't fit your head comfortably, then it's not the best for you. That's why, personally speaking, I would choose the Nolan. It's the best one here in terms of fitting my head shape, and that's the key to making any decision like this, in my opinion. As I said earlier, we've already published full reviews of four of these helmets, and our review of the Nolan is also coming soon. You'll find links to those reviews in the description below if you want to go into greater detail on any of the five helmets. There's also a link that will take you to every flip front helmet on the sports bike shop site at the moment, so you can browse through everything and see what works best for you. Okay, thanks for making it to the end. As ever, if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.